Welcome back to John's Films. Have you ever had this happen? I'm trying to load a project I've put a lot of time into, and it won't load. In fact, if I let it sit, Windows will crash the app. Am I stuck? Not quite. Let me show you how to make sure you can solve this. As I get it set up, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Here we are with Resolve having crashed. So this feature, what is it? Well, as I open Resolve back up, I'll tell you there's a way to save backups automatically in Resolve. Now, this is not something that's enabled by default, but it's critical and all users should have this turned on. Here's what it allows you to do. This is the project I was struggling to open. I right click on it and choose Project Backup. Here you can see snapshots over the last few days when I've worked on this project. I know from experience the problem exists in these last three snapshots. They won't open either, but I'm very lucky. There's one from Thursday, September 5th that will open. So I click on it and click load. Now I have the opportunity to save it as a different project. So I'll choose Amir, which is the project name, and then resolve saved my butt. There we go. And boom, now I've got the project and I can double click it to open it like normal. Notice it loaded a lot faster and didn't hang. Here are all the cuts and the edit that I was looking for. You can see I can work it just like normal and there's no real ill effect or problem. So what do I do with this? How do I get it set up? Well, in the top left for DaVinci Resolve, you want to set this up as a preference for all of Resolve. So I choose DaVinci Resolve, go to Preferences, or I hit Control, comma, and it chooses to open up in the system mode. The setting I want is in user. So I click user and go to project, save, and load. This is where you need to do your work. So I have live save turned on, meaning it automatically saves for me as I go. But more importantly, I have project backups turned on. This allows me to take a snapshot every 20 minutes, rolling them off every two hours, and then daily backups for the past six days. At the time I did the video, I only had it set up for every two days. It's important that you make sure to set this back far enough that you will find if you had an issue. I was traveling, and so when I came back, I was lucky I was able to catch it before it rolled off and replaced it with a more recent version. So, what's the cost of this? How much space are you using, John? Clearly, it's saving the whole project. Well, it doesn't save the source footage. It saves all the metadata about it that you've got set up in there. And so all of my backups in this folder only total to about half a gig. That is half a gig well spent for me. Now I've got my footage saved and I know what I'm going to do. What about you? Has this solved a problem for you? Have you been able to save a project in the past? Let me know and please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.